Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Margarita here. It's so good to see you. And for those who are new here, welcome. This week has been a little bit crazy to say the truth. And I'm filming this on a Wednesday, I'm posting it on a Wednesday. I mean, my car got rear-ended, my cat got sick, my husband's now sick, it's just, all happening but anyway i promised you a makeup haul a luxury makeup haul and you're gonna get a luxury makeup haul so i'm not gonna be screaming too loud because everyone is sick and sleeping downstairs but let's get into this makeup and see what i've got and i can't wait to share it with you guys because it's some really amazing stuff all these products i've not used before so i've just literally got them and i want to just open them in front of the camera and just go through them and see what they're about and the ones that are kind of themed i'm gonna do reviews on them later so let's do it that way i'm gonna just have a look at them today show them to you and then later videos we'll do like full reviews and try-ons and everything like that deal cool okay let's begin with georgia armani i love georgia armani foundation so i thought i wanted to try a few other bits and pieces and see what i think so here's the parcel of a few things so first of all i've got two rouge d'armani shears hydrating lip color and I've got these two right here. So let's open them up and see what they're about. One color is Plum Runway and the other one is Milano Pink. So Plum Runway looks like this. Oh wow, it's a beautiful, beautiful dark plummy color. Plum Runway really suits the look of this color. No wonder it's called that. And the other one is called Milano Pink. This is a really beautiful dusty colored pink, which I really, really love. It's a shade I love to wear, so I can't wait to do the review on the Georgia Armani makeup and swatch this for you. Don't look at my unpainted nail. I also picked up the Ecstasy Lacquer in Pink Milano, Milano Pink as well, because I really, really like that color. I really love that shade, and I wanted to try and see what these Maestro colors are all about so they come like this with a little doe foot applicator and they're supposed to be sheer i think but i i will try this for you so it's a lacquer so it um adds shine to your lips basically and it's in milano pink so i wonder if you could wear it over the lipstick and add a bit of shine the next color is called front row and this one is an intense velvet color in lip maestro that's what it looks like front row i suppose that's a fashion reference if you're in the front row you're wearing this shade that's really, really pretty. It's kind of like a nude, pink, nudish, darkish, mauveish color. So that looks really, really beautiful. I'm really excited to try that. What have we got here? Oh yes, the eye tint navy lights. And this one is this beautiful color. And I got this because I have the NARS palette with a similar color. And I think green looks really, really nice on light eyes. And I'm really excited to see how this wears and what it looks like on the eye. Okay, this product blew my mind when I saw it. I think it's the most beautiful packaging. It's the most beautiful looking thing I've ever seen. It is called the Sunset Cruise Smoky Eye Palette by Giorgio Armani. The packaging looks like this. It's kind of like an asymmetric um, circle. But guys, check this out. Are they not the most beautiful colors you've ever seen? I mean, it goes from this beautiful, almost highlighter shade down through to pinkish tones to gold and then to black, obviously, for you to use on your eye. It's the most immaculate looking creation ever. And I think it's so beautiful and I cannot wait to try it. I hope you guys are looking forward to that in-depth Giorgio Armani review because it's going to be amazing. The next brand we have is Burberry from London, England, where I grew up. Yes. Let's just dig in there and see what we have. We have the Burberry Camellia. It's a lipstick in number 229. I think these products are so beautiful in the way they look. And not only that, but they have this magnetic kind of feel. And I think that just adds so much luxury to the actual product. I really, really love that. This is a beautiful rose pink color. And I think it'll be really beautiful when um, we go to LA or Vegas to add a pop of color. I think it's very feminine, it's very fresh, and I really love the cylindrical shape of this lipstick. I think it's really, really pretty. Close it so easily. What else do we have here? We have the crushed red in number four, Burberry First Kiss Fresh Gloss. Now, I'm very nostalgic about these juicy tube looking <laughs> things. Did you guys ever use those when you were younger? I don't know if you're that old, but they kind of like came out with a squishy kind of juicy tube thing. This is um, in this beautiful pink as well. As you can see, I like those kind of colors, but the strange thing about this is, isn't a fluffy kind of applicator what you'd be used to. 
it's kind of more I don't know plastic I really wonder how this would look I'm actually gonna try it now maybe Ooh. hmm maybe I didn't put enough it's very gentle very summery not too overpowering hmm. I will try it properly for you in the review onwards and upwards my friends what have we got here we've got the number two light in the lip contour stick now these are interesting aren't they this is what they look like again the metallic packaging and it's got the color over here this is the number two you pull them open like this and it's this chubby contour stick and it's the lip contour so i suppose you contour your lips with it i really can't wait to do some research on it because i've never really seen a product like that and really find out what it does and try it on myself for you guys i also got it in the number one fair just to see the difference. I think it would be a good comparison because this one is a kind of lighter, pinkier shade than the other one. And I think it might suit me better, but I think both would work really, really well. So let's try those out against each other in a future video. How cute is this? That is so adorable. I love that. That's a slip that comes off the top. This is the Burberry First Love. This is all the First Love collection, obviously. And it's this beautiful, can you see those prisms and how they shine? That is so gorgeous. And obviously, oh, the slip fell out, never mind. Obviously it's the, oh, it smells like First Love. It smells so beautiful. It's the blush and it's absolutely stunning and so fairy floss and so pink candy skies and just so beautiful. This collection is just super, super duper romantic and I can't wait to try it. Next, I have a few items from Guerlain. So let's get into those. First things first, I got this nail color in the color Red Heels 003. And normally I get shellac or I get nails done, but I thought this was a really, really beautiful red color and it's really good for blondes and not being so strong it's got that kind of orange undertone in it and i think it's very very summery unlike the red that i'm kind of wearing which is very wintry it's winter in australia keep that in mind i think it's a really pretty color i'll try that definitely when i go to the salon i'll get them to paint that or i'll definitely use it on my toes this is a guerlain eyeliner and it's in the color felt i don't know how this is going to go down with you guys but i think it's the prettiest thing it's gold and beautiful and i think it would look so good in the in a corner of the eye because it's basically just pure gold look at that pure gold that pure gold would look so good on the inner corner it would look amazing in fact i'm going to try it for you definitely when i go to america so you can see how good it looks the next item from Galan is these meteorites i suppose in the color golden number four it comes in this really pretty packaging whereby it looks like a gorgeous flower on top inside is this poof that you remove and there the meteorites are they're this assortment of different candy colored pinks and lilacs and nudes and beiges and obviously that's a beautiful powder yeah and it smells like an absolute candy shop it's absolutely beautiful but i think that would make a really beautiful highlighter or powder for sure i got the prism blush from Givenchy which looked so so beautiful i think <laughs> these blushes are stunning the packaging is so executive and so beautiful i do think this brush is nice but slightly unnecessary from what i can tell and as you can see the inside of the blush is absolutely stunning their aesthetic is just so so beautiful and it says here you can swell all the colors together or just go up and down the middle but either way it's a very beautiful smelling product and I think it would look really, really nice. A Galan product I forgot to mention, the Mont Galan. So let's open it up and see what it smells like. That's what a haul is for. So you just get to see everything for the first time with me. Look at that bottle. That's pretty. I think an assortment of beautiful bottles in your vanity looks so, so nice. Okay. It's got a really fresh but tropical scent. It's almost citrusy. I don't know if those notes exist in this perfume, but that's what it smells like to me. I think it's really fresh and I think it's summery because, and it's youthful. I think it's a youthful smell for me. I also got these four really interesting things now. This is My Couture. This is the Nude Glow Flawless To Go Foundation. And this is impressive, wait for this. This is the highlighter paper. 
this is the blush paper and this is the silic acid blemish control paper i'm going to open one of them for you because i'm so excited to learn like what this is like let's do the highlighter one so they're really obviously compact so you can take them to the beach with you and just drop them in the bag and everything i think that's such a good idea because you don't want to have clunky things around you rip out one paper this is the highlighting paper i ripped it a little bit badly there is my cheek as it is let's get the highlighting paper and highlight did we see anything did we see a result let's see it on this side oh, okay i'm seeing that a little bit is it strong enough i don't know maybe their highlighter is quite subtle so let's try the blush the sunset boulevard blush paper it says here see so you just wipe it on your face and then you get the blush effect Here we go. Oh, that definitely works. I like it. That is so smart. I no longer have to wear clunky things with me. <laughs> I no longer have to wear big compacts in my bag. Oh my God, my couture. Oh, honey. That is so, so smart. I'm so in love with that. That is clever. I like that. Clever. It's definitely given me that rosy glow. I've got one more bag for you guys. This salt scrub, Lux Oil and Salt Scrub, is probably one of the prettiest products I've seen to date. If you look closely, it's got all those roses and luxurious oils inside. It's a body scrub with the jasmine and rose. I think it's got a gorgeous aesthetic if you're into that kind of modern, clean white look. It's really good for blog photos and I'll probably feature it. And if it works, I will definitely put it in my favorites as I'm gonna start using this as my scrub. Salt Bay Hendrix also made this beautiful lip butter which I can't wait to try. I love brands which have this kind of organic flair, but still have a very good kind of aesthetic. Wow, that's buttery and smooth. Mm, that's gorgeous. So as you can see, the aesthetic is really clean and beautiful. I love how it says salt on top and it's just that kind of modern look, but still the products are very clean and beautiful inside, which I love. We've got the black eye mask. This is a new product, which I don't know a lot about, but I really wanted to try. So I actually got sent this. This is five under eye masks and it's for late nights, too many cheeky wines, and let's not forget those carb on carb delights. So they're supposed to cleanse your under eyes and renew your kind of youthful glow. And I will try these out for you and do a little video review of those as well, for sure, because I'm obsessed with these kind of black charcoal products. Also, I drink charcoal, which just is incredible for your gut and stuff, so you should get on that. Ah, the Instant Magic Facial Sheet Mask. So popular, and I really, really want to try this, so I'll definitely be trying this out by Charlotte Tilbury. Wow, the sun just completely went away. Hello. Oh, at least I can see you guys now. So yeah, I can't wait to, to try this Charlotte Tilbury. That would be really, really, really exciting because a dry mask, I don't really know how that would work, but I'm excited to try it. Two more things, one more from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Overnight Bronze and Glow. This is gonna solve all of my life problems because I really love having a bronze face, but because I wash my face and whenever I, I get a spray tan, obviously it doesn't stick around on my face. So this is like a hy hydrating overnight mask, which also tans your skin. Really, now I'm, I'm excited about that. That is gonna be so good. And I really trust Charlotte Tilbury as a brand to like not clog the pores and just not make it all a disaster really. My last thing that I got is the Garbo and Kelly Master of Illumination because the thing that I have most of in my whole collection is highlighters. Nothing better than a good highlighter. Come here, come and have a closer look. Hi, Oscar. This is the palette and this is the colors. A beautiful assortment of Grace, Ava, Charlie, Garland, Lana, and Greta. Clearly movie stars. I think this is what Garbo and Kelly are kind of looking for. Beautiful stars on their packaging. And the highlighters look very pretty indeed. How much shine has that got? That's really, really nice. I can't wait to try those out for you guys too. Anyway, this is my luxury makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I always love your company and I love when you comment and let me know what you want to see. I really enjoy getting these products and sharing them with you because if you guys didn't see them, then did I really get them? I think luxury and designer 
products probably are the same as any other ones but for me it's just worth that investment if the actual ingredients are better a and b it just gives me that luxury experience which i really crave and love so until next time guys love you lots like jelly tots